Welcome back to the Biggest Loser Betting Show, the dumbest betting show on earth. And my, what do we have here? Oh, look, someone won $811 last week. That's a career high on this very show. That would be me who did that. What do you know? Dion, also in the green, up $262 last week. Larry, not horrible, but minus 119. And Carter lost all three of his bets, down 500. My, how the mighty have fallen. Let's see how that looks on the overall standings for the season. Quite a bit of movement in the last week. Carter's still at the top, the only one of the four of us in the green. Dion and I are separated by two lonely dollars, and we are on Carter's heels. Larry, you've got some work to do. We'll see what you do this week on The Biggest Loser. Let's get to it. My name is Greg Waddell. These three idiots are Dion, Larry, and Carter. Dion and Larry from Break the Bank, Carter from Sleepers Media. Once again, sad pit. You know you're super sad when you're reusing the same sad nicknames you used a couple weeks ago. Good to know. Uh, Carter, this week since you lost, I got to pick your punishment. And we threw around three to four different options. Ultimately, you didn't execute on the one that we were given so uh, you're going to sing the national anthem for us to kick off this lovely episode, just like a sporting event where there's an anthem. Tonight, you're singing the anthem for The Biggest Loser. So, Carter, take it away. <clears throat> uh, shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with full drink. I just pour me an eighth. Real nigga all in my face. You mean the national anthem or the anthem that for the me? The national anthem. Oh. My fault, my fault. <clears throat> uh, also, could, could you stand up for us? Have some respect for the flag? Yeah, I mean, we, we should have, like, hand on the heart. <laughs> yeah. no, Larry, the Larry flag, please remove your hat. <laughs> no, Larry, please keep your hat on. <laughs> and also, this country can kiss my ass. Uh, <clears throat> oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? Was so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bronze stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched. We're so gallantly streaming, and the rockets recollect the bombs bursting in air, and gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wait for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Great job. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm, yeah, that I'm was honestly, better than I expected. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. That's what I was going to say. That was not bad. You had a I'm strong most, finish. I'm most impressed. I think you didn't even look up the lyrics, which seems shocking to me that you know the words. I thought there was a thousand percent chance that I messed that up. Yeah, kudos. All right, we're going to get straight into the bets now. Uh, Larry, as the loser of last week, you're going last, my friend. I will lead us off. Uh, follow I thought it was part of that went last. It'll be me. Wait, when did I Dion. become the loser of the week? Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. You're overall loser. You're correct. Car Carter, you're left. <laughs> I, I just got spooked because that anthem was so good. I really yeah. like Carter right now. All right. I'll go first. Uh, I Last week, I only picked three plays from one game. Into the bets from this week. Bet number one for me. Oklahoma State plus seven and a half. $200 to win $160. Here's the thing. I think Oklahoma State's legit good for 78% of that game against TCU. They were the better team on that field. They blew it late. That sucks. They were on the road. It happens. Texas, on the other hand, I don't think is that good. Texas almost blew a game to Iowa State, 
was absolutely horrible. Quinn Ewers was missing throws all over the field. Uh, seven points is way too many. The actual line is right around seven. I think it's been bet down to six and a half. I'm buying half a point to go up to seven and a half, 200 to win 160. Carter, what do you think? Yeah, I like this bet. I was actually looking at this for one of mine, too. Uh, I just believe when I looked at it at six, it wasn't great for me. But seven and a half, they're at home, too, right? They are at home. Yeah, Texas, they ain't ready to go on the road and win against a good team. Thank you. And on that note, bet number two, Oklahoma State money line. This worked for me last week with Tennessee. They're good, okay? They're the better team, $200 to win $400. Uh, pretty simple. Honestly, that's all it is. Dion, thoughts? Uh, I'm a Quinn Ewers guy. He's him. I kind of hope the Niners tank next year. I think that's insanity, honestly. He's so not – the normal like prototype that you're into unless it's me i'm still atop your white boy rankings right yeah yeah so like it's you luca and quinn is making a push for that third spot and then he can make an effort towards luca but you're like the clear number one you don't gotta worry about that right now well thank you where's adam levine on your list by the way he he's fell into seven or eight um a dark horse making a push is patrick baldwin jr at the moment i know that's probably <laughs> All right, and on to bet. Uh, I'm going Purdue money line. I'm sticking in uh, underdog ish plays this week, but I don't understand why Purdue's an underdog. They're playing Wisconsin. Wisconsin just lost to Michigan State, even though Mel Tucker literally tried to shit himself and give the game to the Badgers. Wisconsin's horrible. Graham Mertz is horrible. Purdue actually has a pulse as a football team. Aiden O'Connell is really good. I think Purdue goes into that stadium that will be totally empty, by the way. The fans gave up on the season and wins this game by two touchdowns. Larry, what do you think? I'm with you. You lost me at the two touchdowns. But I like the pick. I don't think it's by two touchdowns, but I like the pick. Well, thank you. Luckily, the two touchdowns doesn't matter for Biggest Loser. So, looks like I'm going to win all three yet again. Let's move to second place from last week, which would be Dion, Mr. Hillford. You're up next. You are off ring night last night, so I'm sure this will be interesting. What do you got? Yeah, so um, I'm doing an, an homage to the Warriors. They won their rings. I'm also declaring my first pick is the future national champions, Ohio State Buckeyes, minus 29. Um, Iowa stinks. C.J. Stroud's very, very good at football. Um, and he's going to be – C.J. Stroud is so good at football, I want to go on record to say – he will fix not only the Ohio State curse, but he'll solve the Lions problems too. Wow. Carter, do you want the Lions problem solved? I'd rather have Bryce Young solving those problems, but I'll take either quarterback. Uh, streets are saying that Carter all of a sudden doesn't care about hype, which would go against everything he said in the starting five this morning. I don't care about anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Dion, what do you got? Number two. Uh, number two is Cowboys minus seven. Speaking of the Lions, they stink. When they, <laughs> when they watch C.J. Stroud chunk up seven or eight touchdowns, this is going to be an all-time tank job. Dan Campbell was talking to the owner about the team's problems. I don't mean this towards the Lions owner. I don't care what any owner thinks about the team's problems. They don't know anything about football. They're trillionaires. So I don't understand what that conversation was. Cowboys by a million. Dax back, too. Larry, NFL expert around here, your thoughts? I love this pick for everything he said. The Lions thing, they getting Dakota back. They're going to have a little jolt of excitement. Zeke, just come, Zeke is coming off the best game in God knows how long. So probably going to build on that against your trash-ass Lions. Yeah, they probably won by two touchdowns. It's probably Hopefully. fair. Yeah, Hopefully. better uh, last pick is Ole Miss plus two. I just don't see it with LSU, and I'm a massive, massive Lane Kiffin guy. He could coach any of my football teams whenever he wants. I like the sound of that. Uh, my problem with Ole Miss is just that their quarterback's name is Jackson Dart, which is the Sky Clark effect, where if he was just named like a normal human name, no one would give him the time of day. But, you know, his name is Jackson Dart, so we think they're good at football. Uh, LSU's bad, though, so I think this probably hits. Good work. Carter, you're still not up. I don't know why I keep thinking Carter's up. Larry, you're up. Uh, bet number one. You, what just, you, got? Hate, you just hate oh, me. For me My first pick, just like Dion, I'm taking Ohio State minus 29. To give you, give you a couple stats that Dion didn't give you, Ohio State's average margin of victory is 33 points. So I don't know why it's at minus 29. And then when you take away the Notre Dame game from the season opener, 
against unranked opponents, which they've had in the other five games, they that margin of victory goes up to 37 points. This is an easy cover. I like when Larry brings out stats. Carter, what do you think of this? I like when he brings out stats as well. But uh, Ohio State coming off a of bye week, Iowa is like just sneaky, annoying. Like they might mess around and keep it close or something. Not close, but closer than 29. So I'm not, I'm not really a fan of the pick as much as y'all. It couldn't be like a 40-point blowout, but I appreciate your lack of confidence, though, Carter. Real quick, Carter, have you, you ever, have you ever endorsed, or endorsed a Larry pick on this show? He has. Yeah, like, I have. I don't think so either, D. I'm like, I, I just don't think it's happening. All right, Larry, bet number two. What do you got? <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs minus three against the San Francisco 49ers. Chiefs coming off a loss. 49ers fucking stink. Losing by 14 to the Falcons is just disgusting behavior. Where they do that at, I don't know. But Chiefs coming off a loss against the Bills. Patrick Mahomes is going to look to set these boys on fire. Dion, that's your team. Thoughts? Um, If he bought half a point the way you did, I would like this a lot more. I think the defense also another fun it. fact: Chiefs' average margin of victory is five points. Yeah, the Chiefs also haven't played defense like the Niners. If you bought a half a point, I would really like it. I definitely think the Chiefs win. Mahomes is a problem, but I mean the Niners are also coming off a loss. Look up Kyle Shanahan's record when he does that. So, wow! All right, Larry, bet number three. Bet number three, I got the Giants money line. They're underdogs against the Jaguars. This is the first time all season I feel like the Giants are being disrespected. I like this bet. I think the Giants are actually good, and I still don't know why they're good, but I think you're right. I think it's just the coach and Saquon's good, but God. when I, It's when the coaching NFL, staff, bro. It's really the coaching staff. When an NFL team has a competent coaching staff, it's insane how different things look. It really is. I don't would be nice. You mean protein shake Mike Singletary is incompetent up in Detroit? No, Dion, he's not. Creatine Matt Patricia. (laughs) Carter, bet number one, what do you got? All right, uh, I'm going to keep my trend going here, except I'm not betting on Kansas spread or Kansas money line. I'm betting the over at 58 and a half in this game. Anyone who's watched Baylor or Kansas this year, their defense can't stop a soul. They have games that are at minimum 30 points, and both of these teams are going to be able to score 30 points in this game, and they're going to let the other one. I think this hits easily. I think this ends up being a game in the 40s. Why did you say that you're continuing your trend by picking an over, which you have never done on the show? No, no, no. I'm continuing my trend by including Kansas in my picks. They've been in my pick for four straight weeks. Understood. Dion. Uh, I just want to point out, Baylor has only given up 30 points twice this season through six games. And and once was against Oklahoma State. So so the comment about they just give up 30 points just isn't true. I was talking about Kansas more so. Kansas's backup quarterback is also still in this game, and he stinks for the record. Uh, he, he really stinks. Put up, to put up 40 first. points last week. Against Oklahoma, and he missed about 100 throws in that game. All right, Carter, bet number two. Wow, not really getting the love I deserve. Uh, Ole Miss money line because I'm not pussy like Dion. Uh, LSU stinks. Uh, getting Ole Miss at plus money is something that makes me happy. Not necessarily happy because I'm always sad, but it makes me, I don't know, a little bit aroused, I guess the word is. Uh, LSU is awful. I'll fade Brian Kelly to the end of time. They got their ass whooped by Tennessee. I think this is a finished team. Give me Ole Miss. Larry, do you like when Carter is aroused? <laughs> no, no. I don't think anybody does, and he's married. But the fact that Dion and Carter are both all in on Ole Miss, I'm against this pick 100%. Yeah, I hope this comes back to bite both of you very badly. All right, bet, bet number three. Bet number three, please respect, please respect me. I got that thing on me. Uh, UCLA <laughs> plus seven and a half. Uh, I don't think Oregon's a really good football team. This is actually at six and a half, but I bought a point on it just because I want to get it to that magic number of seven. So uh, I'm on the even softer side of this, getting into seven and a half, which is kind of killing my winnings. But I think that UCLA is a legit team. I saw him play Utah last week. I'm really impressed with their quarterback DTR. I think he's in the Heisman kind of conversation. Uh, and I'm not a believer in Bo Nix and Oregon. I think they've escaped a lot this year. 
Uh, so give me UCLA uh, plus seven and a half. I think they could easily win that football game too. Yeah, I love this bet. I think it's insane that the line is at six and a half. I thought about UCLA money line for this, but I get the luxury of seeing your picks before I make mine. I didn't want to steal yours. So it is what it is. Good pick, though, Cart. I think you ended on a winner there. That might be enough to make sure you don't finish last and have to do another punishment that I pick for you next week. Thank you, Greg. Glad we saved the biggest forehead for last. <laughs> I already did my bets. Were you not here for that? Jesus Christ. All right. Well, thanks for watching another episode of The Biggest Loser. Tune in next week to see who is, in fact, The Biggest Loser. <laughs>